let's talk Kubernetes. There's this brand new tool out there that might just completely change how you learn and work with it. We're going to dive into how it's making one of the trickiest platforms out there, well, a whole lot easier to handle. Okay, let's be real. If you've ever tried to learn Kubernetes, you know exactly this feeling. You're in the terminal, you're in the zone, everything's clicking, and then bam, you hit a wall. You can't remember the exact command for, I don't know, scaling a deployment or something. It totally kills your momentum, right? And this right here is the perfect picture of that frustration. The old way is this clunky dance. You stop what you're doing, you switch over to your browser, search Stack Overflow, copy some command you hope is right, and then paste it back in. It's just constant context switching. But what if you didn't have to? What if you could just, you know, type a sentence right there in your terminal? Well, that's exactly the promise of this new open source plugin, Kubeclaw AI. Think of it like a little AI assistant that lives right inside your command line. You just tell it what you want in plain English, and it translates that into the perfect kubecall command. It'll even offer to run it for you. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so you're probably thinking, how do I get this magic on my own machine? And the best part is, it's actually super simple to get started. I'm serious. Let's just walk through the five quick steps to get it up and running. Okay, so here's the whole process. It really is just five things. First, you grab the binary file for your computer. Then, you unzip it and give it permission to run. Third step, you pop that file into your system's path. That just means you can run it from any folder. And the last two pieces, you'll need an API key from an AI model, and then you just set that key up in your terminal. And you're done. Seriously, that's it. And here's a really great tip, especially if you're just learning. You don't have to pay for anything to try this out. The source for this explainer actually suggests grabbing a free API key from Google's AI Studio to use their Gemini model. It's perfect for just playing around and getting the hang of things without spending a dime. Okay, setup is out of the way. Now for the really fun part. Let's put this thing to the test. We're going to see how KubeCuddle AI handles a few real-world tasks. We'll start with something easy and then, you know, ramp up the difficulty a bit. First up, a classic. A total hello world for Kubernetes. We're just going to ask it in plain English to create an NGINX deployment. No fiddling with YAML files, no trying to remember command flags, just a simple sentence. And boom, just like that it works. The tool figures out the right command, shows it to you for a quick sanity check, and then creates the deployment. You can do a quick kubectl get pods and, yep, there it is. So simple, so effective. All right, let's turn it up a notch. This time, we're giving it a two-step command. We're telling it to first create a brand new namespace and then deploy our Nginx pod inside that new namespace. This is a great test to see if it can actually understand a sequence of actions. And it totally nails it. The AI figures out that this is a two-part job. It creates the namespace first, and then it creates the deployment right inside of it. This is a big deal because it shows it's not just doing a simple word-to-command translation, it's actually understanding the logic. Okay, for our last test, let's try something you'd actually do day-to-day, -day, scaling a service. We're going to ask it to find that Nginx deployment we just made and bump up the number of copies, the replicas, to three. And again, home run. It finds the right resource, creates the correct scale command, and runs it. If we check the pods again, we see three of them running. So think about that. It can create things from scratch, handle multi-step instructions, and even modify existing resources. That's pretty powerful. So, okay, this tool is obviously really, really cool. But what's it actually for right now? I mean, should you go and install this on your company's production servers tomorrow? Well, let's get some perspective from the expert who showed this off. And this number right here, this is maybe the most important piece of information. The version is 0.0.7. .0 you know, 0.07. .07. That tells you everything you need to know. This is super early days for this project, and that context is absolutely key. Which leads us to this really critical warning from the creator. The advice is clear. Do not use this in production yet. It's a fantastic tool, but it's just not ready for prime time. The recommendation is to wait until it hits at least version 1, you know, a stable release, before you even think about using it for real work. So if it's not for production, then what is it for? Well, the best way to think about it right now is as a learning accelerator. That's a great term for it. It gets rid of all that friction, that constant Googling, and it just lets you experiment and learn way, way faster. It's perfect for your own laptop or maybe a safe development environment. So why does this all matter? What's the big takeaway? Well, first, it keeps you in the zone. You stay in your terminal, focused on your work. Second, it's an amazing way to learn. 
you literally see the correct command pop up based on what you just said. And third, put those two together and it means you can just experiment and learn so much more quickly without all the annoying interruptions. And that kind of leaves us with a really big question, doesn't it? Tools like KubeCuddle AI are maybe a tiny glimpse into a future where we don't have to memorize a million different commands for every complex tool we use. I mean, just think about it. What if we could manage all of our complicated tech just by talking to it? It's a pretty wild idea to think about. Thanks for tuning in.